you've had your highs and your lows and you've been absolutely um, magnificent right through. How does one get up off the deck when, when things aren't going well? I would like to share one experience with you here. It's, it's a funny story, but uh, completely out of the box, which we hadn't tried, and it, uh, it did wonders for our team. We were playing against New Zealand, and uh, Chris Keynes was bowling. This was in India, uh, in, uh, in Mohali, so in your hometown. Uh, it was, it was uh, uh, the ball was reverse swinging, and Chris Keynes was virtually beating us two, three times and over. I was batting with Rahul Dravid, so the main batters were batting. We'd like to believe that we were the main batters. <laughs> and uh, we were getting beaten, and we were sort of clueless because we couldn't see the shine. Uh, sometimes the surfaces are such that it becomes a little difficult to figure out which, shi which side is the shiny side and which is the rough side. Uh, I mean, uh, I expect all you guys to know what reverse swing is. Reverse swing is wherever the shiny side is, the ball starts to go in that direction. Even if the bowler wants the ball to go in the opposite direction, it will not go because of the imbalance and uh, the, the surface of, of the ball. So Chris had started doing that. And I met with Rahul in the middle of the wicket, in the middle of the over, I said, I've got an idea. Uh, and he said, uh, do you want to share it now or after the over? I said, <laughs> I said I'll share with you after the over, but, but it, it can work. So Rahul said, okay, tell me now what is, what is your idea? I said to Rahul, I am closer to the bowler. And when he's walking back on the run-up, I need to stand here. When he's walking back onto his run-up, I would be watching him closely and I'd be watching the ball. Which side is the shiny side and which side is the rough side? So Rahul said, uh, then what happens after that? I said, whichever side is the shiny side, I will hold the bat in that hand. <laughs> if the ball, if he's going to bowl an outswinger, the bat is going to be in my left hand. If he's bowling in swinger, the bat is in my right hand at the non-striker's end. So that's the only time in my career when the batsman is ready to face the ball. He's not watching the bowler, he's watching the bat in my hand. <laughs> so he's oh, very good. So Rahul is watching me. And suddenly, and suddenly, uh, you see a couple of cover drives being hit for boundaries and you know, on drives passing the, the you know piercing mid wicket and mid on. And Chris is like wondering, I mean, these guys were getting beaten a couple of times every over, and suddenly I'm giving away a couple of boundaries. There's definitely something wrong. So all the fielders were watching me because I was, you know, watching Chris and not Rahul. And normally, no batsman stands facing the bowler. He would be like facing <laughs> the other batter. And then I would quickly change the bat. And they, by then, they had sort of figured out that there is something fishy. And Chris lost his momentum. He lost his rhythm. And he held the ball cross seam. And he bowled the ball. And instead of, uh, you know, looking at Rahul or checking what has happened there, he looks at me and I said, what have you got for this? <laughs> Chris, Chris didn't realize that I had also warned Rahul that if I don't know what is coming, I'm going to hold the bat in the middle. <laughs> so that is, uh, that is how the story goes. So it's just, in short, it's just being a step ahead of your opposition.